Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a map of the solar system. So over here we have Mercury. It's the closest planet to the sun. Although it's 58 million miles away from the sun, it's still the closest planet. Venus is our second nearest neighbour. It is another rocky planet and has many volcanoes. Over here is Earth, the planet we live on, and it has the moon that is going around it. It is approximately 150 million miles away from the sun. Over here we have Mars. Mars is our closest neighbour. It has a very high temperature and it has many craters like Venus. Over here we have the asteroid belt which, which separates the rocky planets and the gas planets. It contains millions and maybe billions of asteroids. And over here we have Jupiter, the biggest planet in the solar system. It is approximately 130,000 kilometres in diameter. Next we have Saturn. It is, uh, it is the second biggest planet with a... Uh, two rings around it made out of gas ice and rock over here we have uranus which is an ice giant because it's really cold and it's really far away from the sun over here we have neptune which is the furthest away from the sun so it's the coldest and it takes more than a century and six decades to go around the sun. Oh, wait a minute. I've noticed uh, Pluto is part of the planet, isn't it? No. Ah, why? Why is it because not part? Because Pluto is actually a dwarf planet because of its tiny, tiny size. Probably even smaller than our moon. Pluto is a, a dwarf planet because it's only a very small planet. Although it's the big Although it's the biggest dwarf planet, it's still smaller than our moon. Ah, so, but still, is it still part of a planet, but it's just a smaller, it's a dwarf planet? No, it's not counted as a planet, it's counted as a dwarf planet. Ah, thank you very much, Thomas. Well done. Well You're done, welcome. you. Well done.